Now let's go ahead and open up headache.jpg, which is located in your project files folder, the chapter 5 project files folder. And when we open up this photograph, we notice that the image has an obvious green color cast to it. Color casts are probably one of the easiest things to spot as far as image flaws go when you're working inside of Photoshop. And now we're going to take a look at how to effectively remove these color casts using my two favorite methods. Now, there's obviously dozens of ways to remove color casts, but these are just two of the simplest and most effective ways, in my opinion, to remove a color cast in a really quick manner. That's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to speed up our workflow and make sure that we get an accurate color in a faster amount of time. So these two things are going to shave a few precious minutes off of your workflow as far as removing your color cast. So let's go ahead now and we'll show you the first one and we're going to do that by coming up underneath the image menu. We're going to choose adjustments. We're going to come all the way down to variations. Now inside the variations dialog box you get this very Brady Bunch looking interface here and what we're going to do is we're going to essentially remove that color cast by adding in colors that are going to neutralize the color that is encroaching on our image. For instance in this image we have the green color encroaching into our skin tones and really giving him that greenish tint and so what we want to do is add in other colors that are going to neutralize that green. So for instance we're going to add in some red to this obviously to kind of warm up those skin tones and neutralize neutralize that green area. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to click this more red image here. And when I do that, you're going to notice here in the current pick window up here at the top, you get a nice updated preview of exactly what your image is going to look like if you click OK. So no matter what you do inside of here, you're always going to get that nice preview window up there at the top so that you'll know exactly what your corrections are going to look like prior to exiting this interface. So what I'm going to do now, I, I notice that I've still got some greenish tones in the skin. So I'm going to click the red photo one more time. So I'm going to click that again, and that introduces a little bit more red in there, but it's also a little bit too saturated for me, so I need to tone that down a little bit. It's a little too warm now. So in order to cool it down, I might add in one click of blue. And there you see that kind of neutralizes it a little bit more, but however, I've still got kind of that extreme pink in some areas of his skin. So in order to neutralize that even farther, I'll go ahead and click on the cyan one time like so. And now I've pretty much got this color cast neutralized the way I need it to be. So now I'm ready to go ahead and commit to these changes if I want to. However, if you start to see areas in your image that are specific to one area of the photograph, like let's say the shadows or the highlights, the great thing about the variations dialog box is the fact that you get control over the highlights, shadows, and midtones. Now by default when you open up this interface, it should default to the midtones. So you're going to be making that broad adjustment mainly to the overall image. However, as I notice here, there's more of a green cast in the highlight right there in his hand. So if I want to neutralize that a little bit more, I can click here on the highlight button. And you see there I get a nice shift over here. You'll see exactly where you're targeting right over here in this window on the right. And what I want to do is I want to warm up just the areas in the highlights. So I'm going to go ahead and click the more red photo here just to warm up those highlights a little bit more and if I feel like I still need to warm it up even more I can go ahead and I can click that again and there I have effectively removed most of that greenish cast from the hand and it's becoming more and more neutral each and every time I click that however you have to notice too that there's some highlights in the face and we've also introduced a little bit more of that red tone into the face so if you need to go ahead and tone that down go ahead and throw in one click of blue just to kind of neutralize that down as well so this interface face works on a basis of clicking and you need to be careful how many times you click these things because sometimes the change will be very subtle and it'll be kind of difficult to tell exactly what kind of changes you've made so don't go just arbitrarily clicking in here until you really understand exactly what color you have affecting your image and what exact color you need to implement on the image in order to neutralize that color so my suggestion would be to go ahead and study maybe a color wheel to see exactly what colors are opposite one another on that color color wheel. That way if you have a color cast, you can effectively target which color you need to effectively neutralize that color cast in your image. So the last thing I'm going to show you here in this is the ability that you have to also 
change the fineness or coarseness right here. You have the ability to change that with that little slider right there. I'm going to suggest that you leave that alone simply because of the fact that when you do that, you tend to get some really funky color distortions, and it's really just not good for the overall composition. So what I'm going to suggest you do is leave that right there in the middle. Now, you Macintosh users, there it's obviously not in the middle. It's kind of set off to the left a little bit, and so you just need to get that as close to the middle as you can so that when you're making your adjustments, you don't tend to get those extreme color distortions. Now that I've got this color cast effectively neutralized, I'm going to go ahead and click OK to commit to those changes. And you see there, it automatically updated that preview right there in my image window. And if I want to show you here, here's the before where we had that obvious green color cast. And here's after where we've effectively neutralized the green from his face and introduced those nice warm skin tones into both his face and the hand here on the left. So I'm doing that, I'm switching back and forth between the before and after simply by hitting the Control Z or Command Z on the Mac on my keyboard. So again, here is the before and here's after, effectively showing you how we've neutralized that color cast. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to revert this file by going File, Revert, or you can simply hit F12 on your keyboard to get this back into its original state. And now I'm going to show you the easiest way to neutralize a color cast quickly and effectively. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to the image menu, we're going to choose adjustments, except this time we're going to come down here and we're going to choose match color. Now inside the match color dialog box there's all of these options in here, but we only have to be worried with one of them, and that's this little box right here that says neutralize. When I click this, you will automatically see the color cast will neutralize itself just by clicking this one little box. Let's go ahead and click that now, and you'll see there it automatically takes out that color cast, and we've effectively neutralized all of those colors that were encroaching on our skin tones. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And when I do that, you'll notice here in the overall image that we've lost some of the saturation of the greens back here in the background, and we've also lost a little bit of saturation and color here in his face. So if we wanted to bring those back up a little bit, we could simply come up here to the Edit menu. And by the way, you have to do this before you run any other commands on this image. So directly from going into the Match Color dialog box, this is the only way that you'll be able to do what I'm about to do here. So just go straight from the Match Color dialog box to fade match color. And once you do that, you have what I like to call undo on a slider. So what you have the ability to do is control via this opacity slider how much of that effect you just applied to that image is actually finally applied. So I'm going to knock this back to about 70 percent like that. And then if you wanted to also you have the ability to change the blend mode of the particular effect that you just ran. Now I'm not going to change the blend mode for this because blend modes tend to shift colors when you're working with them. So I'm just going to leave that at normal. And then once I'm finished setting up my opacity settings like I need them to be. And by the way, here is a quick preview. You can just turn on this preview switch right here and say here's before and here's after. So you see there we've added in a little bit more of the warm tones in his flesh and added a little bit more saturation to the background as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then there if I show you here again is before and after. And I'm just doing that by hitting the Control Z or Command Z keyboard shortcut on my keyboard. And you see there we've effectively neutralized this color cast and we're ready now to continue editing our image.